that and before the pandemic the occupancy levels at city apartments were high until tenants were forced to move out in a cost cutting move dropping the leasing percentage to an average of 30 percent in both residential and commercial spaces with a new year the country expects recovery but how long is the real estate industry going to take before it heals john kutuni spoke to the economy to an economist abraham udogo and this is his insight as a result of the economic disruptions caused by the COVID-19, the rental market was at its lowest during 2020. But when you talk about the high end, you'd be talking about anything between 20 and 50 percent. But as you go towards the middle and lower, it will be lower, maybe around 30 percent. So, but I think on average it would, it would range around 30, 30, 40 on average. Landlords owning residential properties are now struggling with filling empty apartments, but owners of the office spaces might take longer to recover due to remote working. Several things will happen. Number one is that people, because of what has hit people, they have learned to live differently. And even when their income comes back, they, they, they may want to ask themselves whether they really want to go back to living the way they were living. That's on the residential side. On the commercial side, there's this concept of working from home. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies have taken that thing so seriously that we have many companies where employees have not come for 12, for 12 months. So they're asking themselves the question of whether they want to continue paying for that space, for this desk. So we may see a recession in terms of uh, the space that companies want to take. And that will have a long-term impact on whether people want to start continue putting up commercial space. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you have 200 staff and 200, 100 of them can stay home, then you probably need half the space you are you occupy. And if that trend goes everywhere, then you can see the demand for commercial space will really be on the downside. The housing market is in crutches, and we can't really tell when it will recover. But projections show that the sector might heal by 2023. Some real estate experts will tell you it is a good idea to invest in real estate. However, it can only be if you're looking for long-term benefits. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Joan Kutu.